Greetings, YouTube. Now, my friend Jan contacted me recently, had a question concerning half races in fantasy games. Traditionally, in D&D and in Pathfinder, you have half elves and half orcs. These are pretty much built right into the DNA of the game. Um, but I don't like half races. I don't mind the stats for half orcs. In fact, I keep them. I just call them orcs and wild out orcs or the or orcs out in the out in the wilderness or wherever they're they're bigger and tougher but then 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 the traditional half orcs are if you call them um urukai, you whatever you want high orcs um but i don't mind the stats half elves just bore the crap out of me but i don't use half races i prefer my races to not be intermingling genetically without the use of magic so it was still possible to pull that off but it's not going to um, be easy, and the offspring are going to very likely be sterile, like the the mulls were in uh, mules, whatever you want to call them, in Dark Dark Sun, where it was half human, half dwarf. Um, they were sterile, um, kind of like uh, mules are in real life. Um, mules are adorable, by the way. I always have a soft spot in my heart for them. Um, I was. A person that used the half races when I was younger, but now as, as an older person, I just don't like them. But Jan asked, if the half races exist, does that imply that there was at one time an Ur species? One species of hominid. And that all of the species we see in the world today are derived from that species. Now, most fantasy settings have uh creation myths each of the each of the species having their own creation myth or multiple creation myths there's no reason a, spe a, a species cannot have multiple creation in their myths look how many creation myths humans have all right um and there's no reason that all the other species out there the elves the dwarves and the gnomes and the halflings don't have you can't have a hundred different creation myths um, but traditionally they're not from one root race and sometimes they're like, this was the first species, and this species then entered the world through this, or or they came from somewhere else. Frequently you have, like, like the elves come from the, the land of the Fae, and that's how they ended up here. They did not actually evolve here. Um, sometimes you have more of a realistic, so that these species existed on this planet or plane or whatever it is um, in the ancient past. So they were Paleolithic races that had then evolved from in, into the Neolithic and into the, then, you know, finally into, into more modern eras. So you can play people that from stone tools, to, you know, copper, iron, up to, up to the Middle Ages, where most um, fantasy settings are in that kind of late Middle Ages, kissing the Renaissance um, zone. Uh, but I've never seen a setting that actually postulated that all the species come from one root, and that somehow they became divided. Now you see that in the elven peoples, because you've got the drow, which at one time were just surface dwellers that became cursed and went underneath the, uh, the earth. Um, shoot. What was the the setting that almost won the award that Aberon got it? It was uh, it deals with the golden age of the, in the past. And the, and there were the, and the elves were far closer together. They had not become completely separate. I'm just spacing the name of the setting, but it was awesome. It really was. It was it was this kind of heroic era when uh, when everyone was like a little bit bigger and taller and stronger. You know, mythologically, not necessarily physically. Um, so yes, it was uh, it was it was really well done. I was always disappointed that it, it didn't win as opposed to uh, um, uh, Everon, which never really was all that exciting to me. So I'm throwing out here, can we come up with an Ur species? What do you think the Ur species should have? Does it have a lot of bonuses? So all of it, so it's got many bonuses so that all of the bonuses that are represented in the other races show up in this Ur race, the main race. But it doesn't have the, de the, 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 the deficits, the penalties, because... It is the original race. It was after they split up that penalties, the, the, the deficits, and a, you know negative con or something like that kicks in because they are no longer a whole. They are a fractured being. And can we rebuild that Ur species through progressive breeding programs or magical stuff? Is it possible to bring a group of people together and, like the lions, form Ultron? 
can you do that? And if you succeed, what happens? Are the gods really pissed? Because you've now done something through secular means that the gods didn't want done because the gods themselves split the earth species up. So are we talking something like the, the Tower of Babel was the, re resulted in all the languages of the earth, and, but at one time everyone spoke the same tongue. This, we're talking myths here, folks. I know it's not real. But now we can do the same thing for the actual species. So one time we've got this humanoid species, really powerful, but something happens. The earth species does something that angers the gods. And book, suddenly you have multiple species, all of them with different traits, and now each of them has some kind of a deficit. And all of the really powerful races that might exist in the world say that they came from the outside to one degree or another. Maybe so long ago that they are considered native outsiders. They've been on here so long, people don't even aware they are from elsewhere. But they are from elsewhere um, because the, all the, the races that belong here came from that original species that was split up and became all of the dwarves and the elves and the gnomes, and you get the point. So, what would the Earth species have going for it? Can you do this? Have you ever done it? Have you ever seen it done in a setting out there? Because I am not conversant with all settings, um, believe it or not. And I have so many games, I will probably never get around to reading all of them. Um, which is a sad thing, because some people have asked me to read them, and I have not actually gotten around to read them yet. And I feel guilty about that, but sometimes you're just human. And things don't happen the way you want them to. So, let's discuss a fantasy ur species. One that is at, is at the root of of all the species that we see in a typical D&D or Pathfinder campaign. So you're really talking the core rule books. Okay, we're not talking about an individual campaign setting. We're just going to go with the core. So what does the race that combines all of those races together, what's it look like? What's it do? What happened? 